Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can take 6 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x minus 3, 4 raised to the power 6, then minus 6 raised to the power 6, then equals to 0 from here. The next step here, we can write this as x minus 3, 4 raised to the power 3, then all raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here equals 6 minus. Also, here we have 6 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2 equals to 0 from share. And here this follows from difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, this same thing as a plus b into brackets, the open bracket a minus b. At this here, a is standing as x minus 3. All raised to power 3 and b standing as 6 raised to power 3. This what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 into brackets, then also open brackets x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus. 6 raised to power 3 close brackets then equals to 0 from here which implies here we have two possible cases we have x minus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here. Then here, yeah, this follows when we have a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3. This same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus ab plus b square. That is, what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 plus 6, form of a plus b. Then to brackets x minus 3 square, then minus 6 times x minus 3, then plus 6 squared, close bracket, then equals to 0 from here. And also, this same thing as x plus 3 here, yeah? then also open bracket expansion here gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then minus 6, open this bracket, we have minus 6x plus 18. Then plus 6 squared as 36, close bracket, then equals to 0 from share. Then this same thing as x plus 3 into brackets, then open bracket x squared minus 6x minus 6x minus 12x. Then we have 36 plus 18 here give us 4 plus 54 here 54 plus 9 that become 63 that's plus 63 here close bracket then equals to 0 from here that is here now we have two possible cases as well x plus 3 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 12x plus 63 equals to 0 from here. Then on this side we have x equals to minus 3, which is a resolution here. And here we have a quadratic equation y equals to 1, b equals to minus 12, and c equals to 63. Apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 square minus 4 times 1 times 63. Then over 
2 times 1. That is here we have x now equals to minus times minus that's plus. That is here this becomes 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 square. That's t144 then minus 4 times 1 times 63. That gives us 2 152. Then all over 2 here. That is here we have x now equals to 12 plus or minus square root of. 144 minus 252 here give us minus 108, then all over 2. And also here, this can be expressed as x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of, here we have 36 times 3 and times minus 1 all over 2. And when we separate this into Three roots root 36 that's 6 and we have x equals to 12 plus or minus 6 and we have root 3 root minus 1 is i over 2 and here 2 is common up and we have x now equals to 2 into brackets here we have 6 plus or minus 3 root 3i then all over 2 here which implies two cancelled each other. And we have x now equals to 6 plus or minus 3 root 3i. Three so here we have two complex solutions from here. Then, solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is equal to a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a square plus ab plus b squared. That is what we have here now. Follow this and becomes x minus 3 minus 6. That's in form of a minus b. Then into brackets, x minus 3 all square and plus 6 times x minus 3 plus 6 square plus brackets then equals to 0 from here. That is yeah, the same thing as x minus 9 into brackets, then open bracket. Expansion here gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. And 6 open this bracket, we have plus 6x minus 18, then plus 36, close bracket, equals to 0 here. That is... Yeah, the same thing as x minus 9 into brackets and open bracket x square. Then minus 6 plus 6 cancel out. Then we have minus 18 plus 36, that's 18. Then plus 9, that's plus 27, close bracket, then equals to 0 here. And here also we have two possible cases. That is x minus 9 equals to 0, or we have x squared minus plus 27 equals to 0 here. And solving here, we have x equals to 9, also a real solution from here. And here we have a quadratic equation. Now when we solve this, we can take 27 to the right side, become minus. That is x squared now equals to minus 27. And when we take the square root on both sides, that is we have square root of x squared equals to square root of minus 27. So here, square can square, we have x now equals to this becomes plus or minus. Here we can separate this as root 9 times 3 times minus 1. Then, that is, here we have x now equals to plus or minus root 9, that's 3. Then we have root 3, root minus 1, that's i. So also here we have two complex solutions from here. That is, all together here, we have six solutions in this given problem two real solutions here two complex solutions here and two complex solutions here and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now